Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kahala Yahabu, Bahashim Yahav Shai, Bahashim Kakadash, that were honestly apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> and Shalom to you brothers out there pushing this word and sincerity in truth. <clears throat> I happened to see this post the other day, um, 22 hours ago, actually, I guess yesterday. Um, basically, basically, uh, this South African woman was found hanging in roommate's garage. And we all know that um we all know that Africa is majority Hamites. The uh the Hamites, the so called Africans. <clears throat> but it was it was something that stuck out about uh this post is that um in South Africa you don't hear about hangings. And even though this hanging was done in America <coughs> for a so-called black woman or so-called black person, period, to be be hanging, be found hanging, found hanging um, was a spiritual thing. The spirit, the spirit showed me that, you know, usually, you know, a heathen, they die of other causes and whatnot. And I'm going to basically read what the description of the whole post is about. So, young black woman discovered hanging in white roommate's garage. A 20-year-old black woman was discovered hanging in her white roommate's garage. The McKinley, McKinney Police Department took to Facebook to address the death at aiding that it was most likely a suicide, which is bullshit. <coughs> Gloria Bambo, who was originally from South Africa, um was found dead in her garage three days after alleg allegedly taking her own life, which is also bullshit. Her roommate also posted and deleted text messages between him and Gloria. That's a red flag. Noting that she has been fired a week earlier and was suffering from mental illness. Bullshit. Users on social media began to speculate that the cause of her death being suspicious. However, the police noted otherwise. Because people aren't stupid. A number of posts on social media have speculated that the death of Gloria Bambo, a 20-year-old black female, the posts read, Miss Bambo body was discovered by her 19-year-old male housemate who, was f who has fully cooperated during the investigation. I bet he did. All evidence in the case so far le leads invest investigators to believe it was suicide. And then I'm going to scroll up. And the comments, people aren't stupid. So, Gloria Bambo, a South African citizen and a resident of McKinney, Texas, was found hung inside her garage. Gloria resided with her roommate, a white male, who found her in the garage Sunday, July 12th. Gloria went missing Thursday and supposedly died in the garage the same day. July 9th, Gloria's body was in that garage three days where people resided and repairs were made. No one has heard anything about this. Why? We need to know what happened to Gloria because she was killed, you know, for whatever reason, you know, <coughs> she, whoever, who, uh, you know, the scripture says, whoever perishes being innocent, you know, that was her judgment. But at the same time, it, it, it it's the Lord most likely used this Edomite, most likely, or this so-called white man. But, you know, Texas is, is predominantly a racist um, state anyway. So <clears throat> I'm going to jump to the scripture. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus, thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. So the Lord, <coughs> first and foremost, has identified 
you so-called white people that um, stem from the seed of Edom, you are the border of wickedness. Second, that the Lord has a righteous anger with you forever because of what you've done to the children of Israel. <clears throat> what you've done to his son also, uh, going back to the Roman Empire, you know. And she was hung on a tree of uh, Slacker. She was she was she was found hanging. I mean she wasn't hung on a tree, but <clears throat> it just it just it's just funny in a racist state, uh, a, a so-called black woman, you know, regardless if she was from um, Africa or not, because, you know, I I was born in America, but my dad is is Nigerian, and the spirit bear witness that we are the children of Israel, right? So um, Hamashiach have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree. <clears throat> so, you know, the cross basically is a, it, it's wood, it's a tree, it's the same thing. He wasn't actually hung on the actual tree, but it was, he was, he was, you know, he was on a, uh, on a cross that's made from wood. And it's a murder, that was a murder instrument by the Romans to crucify um, and kill our Lord and Savior, it was a, a torture mechanism because if he died, he didn't die instantly. He died um, hours later, you know, <clears throat> so that, you know, and this woman, I'm not saying comparing her to Yahushai, but this woman was found hanging and no people, you know, people come in and out of the houses, you know, she, you know, and I don't know the area. I don't know all the details this down the fourth, but. It's just this post stood out to me because you how you don't know that your 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 roommate is missing and this that and the fourth. How you how you haven't heard from her, you haven't seen her, she hasn't been in the house, and he you know it's just every the, the whole po the whole the whole matter at hand is just fishy. It's 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 it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of red flags are are, are popping up. But, you know, through the spirit, I don't know, through the spirit, I feel like this South African woman it, uh, was a, a Israelite through the spirit. So, um, I'm going to bring out Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. <coughs> Seeing it is a righteous thing that Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord um when the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So you know we just gotta hold fast because I mean it's evident it's obvious that Esau is just taking sport and killing Jake. Even though, you know, through the spirit you two thirds, you two thirds deserve it. You two thirds are, you know, doing what you're doing, <coughs> causing mischief, and you know, basically just being wicked and rebellious against the Lord. There's a way and a, a righteous way about putting, a, a, a casting judgment, and Esau's not doing that, you know. Psalm seven and eleven. Yahweh judgeth the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. <coughs> you two thirds fall in the, the 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 category of the wicked, but the real wicked is Esau. The, they're they're the border of wickedness. They they are the wicked that the Lord has set up over us. You know, the Lord judges uh judges the righteous, which really all of Israel is righteous. But right now, you know, you two thirds of Israel, um are destined to be destroyed on this side so you can come back to be perfect through the loins of the elect, you know? Matthew chapter 5, verse 38. 
ye have heard that it have been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that ye resist resist not evil, but whoever whosoever shall smite thee on the right cheek, turn to him the the other also. So, you know, I'm not saying and I'm not advocating to go out and just if someone does something to you to right then right then and there to go, you know, take vengeance because the Lord said vengeance is his. <clears throat> you gotta keep it spiritual and you know, sometimes you're just gonna have to take that L. You can for the most part voice your opinion, but it's best to just walk away and let pray and put a curse on them, you know. Basically say Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash, Shalach Rayam on unto you or unto that person, Baba Gasha, Baba Gasha, Baba Gasha, and then just keep it moving. And Lord willing the Lord hears your prayer and you know, after that, it's up to the Lord. The Lord's gonna sort them out. And there and that's the Lord is, is is a is a is is a it's scary, you know. Um Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye. Someone pluck your eye out, you pluck their eye out, and a tooth for a tooth. And that's what happened in slavery. And, you know, we're going to give double unto, unto Edom that they have done to us. But in due time, when the Lord gives us the green light, not on, taking it on our behalf, because that's not spiritual. Esau has been hanging, you know, people, period, you know, um, <laughs> California, uh, not too long ago, like three months ago, uh, Jake got, he got found hanging somewhere in a playground. So <clears throat> this is still going on a hundred, uh, you know, uh, damn near about a hundred, close to 200 years after slavery, you know. Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5 because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time in in the time that their iniquity had an end <clears throat> Esau had a hand in us you know going into these captivities you know Esau had a hand in the transatlantic slave trade. Esau <coughs> has plotted since he lost his inher uh, inheritance and birthright, sold his birthright for, uh, you know, raw meat, has had it out for us since then. He's going back to going back to the Garden of Eden, going back to Cain and Abel. Esau has has had it out for us because he is the wicked, and the wicked can't. You know, just like they say that uh, there can't be two lions in in one pride. Some someone's gonna fight. <clears throat> we fought in the womb, and we were we were on the grabbing the heel. Jacob representing us, Israel. Jake Jacob was grabbing the heel of Esau, and representing that you know you're gonna be brought down sooner or later, and you're gonna you're gonna have to uh, pay, you're gonna have to pay. Um, for your actions, you know. <clears throat> Esau, like, like this is one of my favorite scriptures about Esau because Esau can't, Esau <clears throat> cannot go to sleep until he thinks of a way to mess with, um, or 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 mess over a Jake. Point blank period. That's that's it's it's set in their heart. That's how they're they're programmed. Psalms thirty six and four. He does deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He ab abhorreth, ab abhorreth not evil. So he loves evil. <coughs> Who is he? He is talking about is he is talking about uh, Esau. He devises mischief upon his bed. When Before he goes to sleep, he thinks of a way. When he wakes up, he thinks of a way. Okay, I'm going to do this to this Jake at work. Or I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And and how how is looking, I mean, women in general don't hang themselves, especially a black woman. They don't hang themselves. 
they 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 that's like that's a little bit just too graphic for them to do. Women, they the women first and foremost want to they want um they want to be comfortable. So if anything, you know, she would if she did commit suicide, she would have done something different. She would have done something more, you know, painless. To hang yourself is pa- that's painful death. So she obviously was murdered by most likely with this whole Black Lives Matter crap going on and racial tension and she's living in Texas and on top of that she's so you know a so called a so called African which through the spirit is showing that she's a uh, she no she's a um she's a Jake through the spirit it's telling me you know <clears throat> But <clears throat> this is one of the most spiritual scriptures that I can I can think of that I um for right now to that we gotta you know we have to endure to the end. And you know, our Lord and Savior, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna come back and 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 and, and balance everything out. Everything that was done to us is gonna be done to the wicked um double. Romans 12 and 19, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place, un- give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I, w- I will repay, saith the Lord. So vengeance is of the Lord, payback is of the Lord. That's, that's, that's plain, clear and cut. So we have to, things, are, things have been done to us, things are going to be done to us. But the Lord is going. The Lord is the is the justifier. the The Lord the Lord is the ultimate judge, and and we just gotta pray on the Lord to keep us protected. But also to if anything does happen to us physically or you know verbally, etc., the Lord will take care of it. The Lord will sort it out. That's why you again pray without ceasing. So I'm gonna give. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and shout out to you brothers out there pushing this word and sincerity and truth.